Everyone now knows that quantum computers are incredibly fast. But with all this speed, what will these computers change in our lives? With so much investment going into quantum computing, what exactly will we do with them? Or, let's ask a different question. With all the hype surrounding these ultra-fast computers, what have they accomplished so far? Technology companies are investing billions of dollars in quantum computing, despite it still being in the early stages of practical application. Surely, these well-educated experts must know something. But why do so many believe that these computers will change the rules of the game forever? The idea of building a computer that leverages the extraordinary properties of quantum mechanics has been discussed since the 1980s. However, in the past few decades, scientists have made significant progress in building large-scale devices. Now, many tech giants from Google to IBM, along with several well-funded startups, have heavily invested in this technology and developed multiple independent quantum processing units. In theory, quantum computers could solve problems that even the most powerful classical computers struggle with. To explain very briefly without diving into confusing ones and zeros, our home computers process data as bits. So if we ask the computer to fill the screen with underscores, it will place each underscore one at a time until the screen is filled. Quantum computers, however, process data in qubits. Since qubits can exist in a superposition state, the processor could theoretically place multiple underscores on the screen, allowing it to process multiple pieces of data simultaneously. But does this ability to rapidly generate underscores benefit anyone? Given the abstract nature of this topic, let's turn to the experts. Norbert Luckenhaus, director of the Quantum Computing Institute at the University of Waterloo in Canada, states, Quantum computers are not just fast classical computers. They represent a completely different paradigm. He adds, Quantum computers can solve certain tasks efficiently that classical computers cannot handle. The fundamental building block of today's advanced quantum computers is the qubit, the classical quantum information unit. Qubits can be implemented using different hardware, like superconducting circuits, trapped ions, or photons. Today's largest quantum computers have just surpassed the 1,000 qubit mark, but most only have a few dozen or hundreds of qubits. Due to the extreme sensitivity of quantum states to external noise, like temperature fluctuations or electromagnetic fields, these components are far more error-prone than classical computer components. This makes it currently challenging to run large quantum programs for long periods to solve practical problems. In essence, you can't just put a fan on these computers to solve heating issues. This leads us to the question, will quantum computers remain a laboratory-bound fantasy? Since this question is beyond us, let's consult an expert. William Oliver, director of the Center for Quantum Engineering at MIT, says, Practical challenges don't mean today's quantum computers are useless. Adding, what quantum computers are used for today is essentially learning how to scale and use them. Given that building quantum computers is one of the most complex tasks scientists are working on today, their approach seems valid. But can we use quantum computers for something beyond simply building better quantum computers? If not, perhaps avoiding the effort of building them might be more economical. Still, let's not judge prematurely and see what's been achieved so far. In 2019, Google announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy using its 53-qubit Sycamore quantum processor. Google claimed this processor completed a task in 200 seconds that would take a classical supercomputer thousands of years. Looking at what was actually accomplished, Google used the Sycamore processor to solve a specific random number generation problem. In this task, the quantum processor quickly produced sequences of random numbers, simultaneously evaluating numerous possible states. This task was specifically designed for quantum computers, but Google argued that classical computers would need 10,000 years to complete it. However, IBM suggested that its own classical supercomputers could complete the task in a few days. Another significant quantum computing milestone is related to the early stages of the quantum internet. 
An international research team led by ChuTech successfully established a network connection between quantum processors 25 kilometers apart in the Netherlands between Delft and The Hague. This result marks an important step toward a future quantum internet, moving beyond early laboratory research networks. The team developed fully independent nodes and integrated them with existing optical internet fibers, achieving a 25-kilometer quantum link. In this project, quantum entanglement was created between two separate quantum processors over a 25-kilometer underground fiber, enabling instantaneous internet connectivity. Another interesting topic is the potential encryption crisis quantum computers might cause, which has prompted the development of quantum-resistant encryption technologies, known as Quantum Protect Software. The World Economic Forum even dedicated a session to this issue. Due to the completely secure policy of cryptocurrency, efforts and budgets are now being allocated to overhaul cryptocurrency systems from the ground up to withstand quantum threats.